Hello, my pretties. Hello, <laughs> hi, pretties. Shout out to all the good little spooky witch there. But today I am coming back to you guys with another pick a card reading. Today is Spooky Saturdays. And I'm coming to you with some spooky ass readings. So today, um, today's reading is going to be what exactly do you do that got these holes spooked? So why do you got these holes spooked? Why does my pile number one two has got this old spook? Damn. Okay. Why does my pile number three got this old spook? why these hoes got y'all fucked up why you spooking these hoes <laughs> all right pile number one why do you spook these hoes 
So you have the, I don't know of needles because I can't read, read Roman numerals, but let me tell you something, sis. You got the girl spooked. And you got the girl spooked because you put yourself together. <laughs> you put yourself right back together, right? So basically what I mean by that is let's say you go through something, a heartbreak, um, a heartbreak of, um, what's it called? Uh, what else do I want to say? A heartbreak, a traumatic moment in life, um, something like that, anything like that, right? You go and get yourself right back together. You get what I'm saying? You not about to play with nobody. You not about to sit around and feel sorry for yourself. You not about to sit here and cry. You not about to um, be, um, get hurt and start being toxic, whether that be toxic towards your friends, family, or lovers. Like you're not doing none of that. You're gonna be like, okay, this happened. I don't like how this happened, and I feel like I don't like how this happened, and I feel like this shouldn't have happened, and I feel like I'm better than that, and I feel like I deserve more than that. But at the same time, I'm not gonna let. I'm not gonna let this define me. I'm not gonna let um I'm not gonna let anybody tell me who I am, uh who I am, what I deserve, who I am, what I deserve, um, and, and things of that nature. Like you just not having it. You get what I'm saying? Like you're gonna get yourself together. And the reason why that spooks holes is because it's like, who are you to put yourself together? Who are who are you to put yourself together? Who are you to do good for yourself? Who are you to who are you to do good for yourself? Who are you to act like um, like everything is okay? Like a lot. What, what's crazy is a lot of people be wanting to see the breakdown. A lot of people be wanting they they get off on the breakdown. They be a lot of people get off on um, seeing you fail, seeing you fail in life, seeing you no longer succeed in life, seeing you panic, seeing you. Feel as though like you're at a loss. Seeing you feel as though like see you feel as though um, uh, how am I saying this? Seeing you feel as though like you have no choice. Seeing see, see um seeing you hopeless. Like a lot of people want to see you hopeless. A lot of people want to see you fail. A lot of people um don't want to see you make it in life. You get what I'm saying? A lot of people don't want to see you make it in life. You get what I'm saying? A lot of people feel like once something happens to you, that should be the end all be all. A lot of people, especially like, and it's like the strong, if you keep getting back up, especially if you're somebody that's like from where they're from. So let's say like you're from a neighborhood where, where, um, Let's say you're from a neighborhood where um, everyone doesn't make it out. So like a, a neighborhood where there's a lot of violence, a neighborhood where there's a lot of abuse, a neighborhood where there's, you know, a lot of, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, scarcity mindset, but it's another word I'm looking for. It's another word I'm looking for. Um, poverty, poverty, things like that. Then you come and you decide, okay, I'm from this neighborhood that these people who are going through this is from. You get what I'm saying? So obviously I have the same, I have the same experiences, the same upbringing, the same education. You get what I'm saying? But so why would I end up any better than anyone? No one, because of that, nobody's going to expect you to end up any better than anyone in the neighborhood that you came from or wherever you came from. Right. But then when someone does, uh, when someone does, um, when someone does decide to, when someone does decide to level up, when someone does decide to, all right, I don't want to be my circumstances, or I know I can be more, and the people around them um, have a habit of feeling, are being in victim mentality and feeling sorry for themselves and feeling like they can't be anything because of their circumstances, and then you prove them wrong, it kind of rubs people the wrong way. So basically, you got the girls mad because you pull yourself together. However, a lot of people who are jealous, a lot of people who feel like, a lot of people who are jealous, a lot of people who feel as though you're... Um, you shouldn't be able to pull yourself together or people who are just like you. These are people who are more successful than you. 
You know what I'm saying? These are people who come from the same thing, the same background, the same hood, the same neighborhood that you come from, right? These are friends and family. These are, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, these are girls you went to high school with. These are girls you went to college with, right? Um, They feel like you got the girls mad because they feel like you've elevated in life and you kind of took yourself out of a bad situation. Not only did you take yourself out of a bad situation, like, with... um with a person specifically for somebody this could be somebody's ex and you got their ex mad because they see how you flourished after you left your ex and they thought they was a shit because they're like oh i got your man or whatever you know what i'm saying and he didn't talk all the shit about you and then she went to go look you up like who is this bitch and then she looks you up and you're doing better without her without the man that she had so she's like damn was a are is she the problem or were you the problem you get what i'm saying so there's that now with that i'm also with that what i'm also seeing here is you like i was like i was saying about about you like basically taking yourself to a different level you basically taking it you basically taking yourself to a different level you basically um being better doing better things like that essentially essentially what essentially you removed yourself from a negative environment but you removed yourself by yourself right because this for me is not a hand it's like spirit guided you you get what i'm saying but when spirit guides you and god guides you and your angels guide you people people act like that shit is not real so they they say basically you did it by yourself but you know in your heart that it was spirit you know in your heart it was god you know in your heart you know how you manifested and got to where you want to get so you know that you wasn't alone but they they see it as you did this by the, by yourself and they can't figure out why they can't do that and the reason why is because you're not a light and you don't you know believe in your ancestors and shit like that um so yeah so why do you got the hoes spooked so here I'm here. What here I'm saying is you hold the light. So not only are did you take yourself out of bad situation, but you're a fucking leader. You're a leader. You're a um. You're uh innovative. You're you know you're not you you took yourself in a way like some of you guys might do something unconventionally. So maybe you guys started a business. It wasn't just oh I went to college and got a good job, or you come from a long line of women who work really hard and you decided you know what I want to uh, I don't want to work hard. I'm just gonna find a rich husband. Get asked for fuck around and did like something like that. Whatever you did was unconventional, and this idea that they never would have thought of, or you went to school for something they might have not thought they went to school for. Or, Something that you did, something that you did, was di is was different than the way. Something that you did was different in the way that they thought that you would go, or like that made sense to them. Because maybe, honestly, most people in the where you're from, maybe um, everyone is a stripper. You get what I'm saying? And you decide, and there's nothing wrong with being a stripper. You decided you wanted to make it out by being a nurse. So that's what you did. You know what I'm saying? Or maybe you're a nurse, right? And you decided, I don't want to work that hard. I want to be a stripper. You was a stripper for three years. Now you retire at fucking 25. And you don't really got to do shit because you don't ran up these bands and you buying properties. And they don't like that shit because it's like, bro, you know what I'm saying? I'm over here working my ass off, right? So whatever you did was unconventionally. So that's why they, they, they spook. Like you got to spook, like, you know, like stunned, right? Next is like your, you have the king of candles. So what I'm seeing here is like your you're not only um like lit like as far as your your personality your finances your lifestyle but you look really good you attract a lot of attention so it's like people want to notice when you notice you when you walk into a room it's not because like i feel like you are attractive some of you guys might be tall modelist looking but it's like more so it's your aura you guys have a bright shiny um aura so when you walk in the room people stare at you because of your aura your aura lights up a room So for my pile number one, the last reason why you got these whole spooks is because they can't figure out how you did it. For the life of them, they cannot figure out how you did it. They cannot figure out how you got where you they how you got where you're going. They cannot figure out they cannot figure out um how you got where you're going. They cannot figure out um they cannot figure out 
They just can't figure you out. They can't figure out anything. They can't figure out your life. They can't, they like, they know little shit, but they can't really figure nothing out. You get what I'm saying? And that's what's like making them mad. And that's what's spooking them because it's like, how does bitch do this? How does she do this? How does she get out of this? I wouldn't have made it out of this. You get what I'm saying? It's like, they're trying to figure it out. Like basically, people, basically you got these hoes mad because your life is like better than theirs. As, or they perceive it to be and they can't figure out why when the reality all you, you ain't really do nothing but believe in yourself believe in spirit let spirit guide you believe your, int your intuition and work hard you get what i'm saying you didn't really do anything but they feel like you did something right but that's because you did the work you did the healing work you did the spiritual work you did you know the for some of you guys the physical and mental work you get what i'm saying so that's that's the truth and people always think you did shortcuts or how did you do it because you know what you know what i find i find interesting honestly especially if you're a good looking woman i feel as though people feel as though they can't imagine you actually doing the work so when they see you doing the work it's like it's no way in fuck this person's doing the work you get what i'm saying because usually people who look like you don't have to do the work so somebody has to be giving it to you you get what i'm saying because people tend to think the better you look the better you carry yourself the uh, things are just handed to you and shit don't really work that way you get what i'm saying it might some stuff might work for, work that way but that does not last you get what i'm saying that does not last because you're not gonna look like that forever you get what i'm saying so and then when you do shit like that when everything is given to you sometimes it, it comes with a price but somehow you're able to live your life the way you want to live because you actually designed your life instead of waiting for somebody to hand it to you and they can't figure out how you did it they can't figure out like but that but to them they don't know that they can't figure out if you did it or somebody's giving it to you so basically that's why you got the whole spook so what's your advice you have passion so continue to follow your passion so if you are if this is about you having a business or having a certain type of career or you know just taking care of your body more specifically somebody might be doing yoga they want you to they want you to continue on with your passions your passions are going to carry you on far in life then you have life review they want you to know like listen you got some hoes that spooked about you you got some hoes in your life that don't have good intentions so go and review like who belongs in your life what value they bring how do they speak to they're around you what did it like you know what do they have to offer like don't be scared to, to ask those questions you get what i'm saying don't be scared to ask those questions all right um and remove everyone who does not serve you or does not belong there but with that being said that is your reading pile number one i hope it resonates if it does please let me know make sure you like this video make sure you subscribe to my channel with the post notification bell so you can be notified every time i post a video if you're interested in a person reading that information description box below if you're interested in our figuring giveaway all you have to do is leave a red heart in the comment section below with that being said i'm gonna move on to my second pile why do you got these whole spook pile number two so what I see here, pile number two, is you have the queen of candles. So what do you do that got these holes spooked? So what I'm seeing here is your ability to move through life unscathed. Like, um, move through life silently. So my pile number twos are definitely what we like to call our popular loners. So you guys, more more than likely, like nobody really knows much about you, but you're probably like mad popular. You gotta say like you're probably you're, like I can see you being somebody that everybody knows, but don't nobody know much about. Like don't nobody really know. Like nobody really know you. It's like most people know of you. Like they know, oh yeah, I'm such and such. Just such do this or such and such date that person. You gotta say, or yeah, such and such is from is from this neighborhood, but they don't really know you. Like they don't know they they don't really know much. They know they might know you're dating someone. They don't know who you're. They, they might know you live in a certain city. They don't know where you live. They might know. Like, people know certain shit about you, but people really only know how they sh know what you share, right? So, that, so with that, because of that, I feel as though you guys, a lot of you guys are never really in public drama. I feel like you guys, I feel like you guys are never really in drama in general. I feel like you guys are never, I feel like you guys are never, I'm so drained. <laughs> I'm sorry. I feel like you guys are never really in drama. I feel like you guys are never really in um, circumstances that you really can't handle because nobody can put you in those circumstances because nobody knows much about you. So nobody has no, no dirt on you. They can't gossip about you. You know what I'm saying? So it's kind of like, it's not that you overlooked. It's just like, you're not... <sighs> I can't, I can't, I don't know how to explain this. You know how everybody got that person, like, in their friend group that everybody fuck with, but y'all don't really know much about their life? Like, I have a friend like that, right? His name is Aaron. He's my best friend. We've been friends for years. 
for years. I don't I have I don't know every single thing about him. I don't know everything about him like I know my other best friend cuz but she's more open to sharing. He does not share, but I know enough about him to be a friend. I know that he's my friend, but that's all I need to know. I don't need to know more. You get what I'm saying? So that's it's kind of like that. So it's like people still fuck with you, people still like you, but they don't know everything about you and like you're mad mysterious, but you're still lit. So people don't understand that. Right? So the reason why the hoes is spooked about this is because they feel like you don't have to do much to be what they are. You know what I'm saying? So it's like for some of you guys, some of you guys are probably really popular, like either in your city, at your workplace, on social media, whatever, but you're not doing the most and you don't have to do the most. And that's what's spooking them because it's like, why is it that you don't have to do the most? But I feel like if I, I feel like if I don't do the most, then people won't like me or people won't want to be around me or I wouldn't be who I was. So if I'm not on Instagram shaking my ass, I wouldn't be shit. If I'm not like at the club every day, people will forget. You can pop out to the club once a month and, sh and shake the room. You get what I'm saying? It's like people, it's like, um, what, my, what got so spook is that you don't have to do much to be lit. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to do much. You don't have to do much to be liked. And they don't like that. They don't like that. Yeah. They don't like that. Why I keep getting that same cards? This short spirit. Hmm. These are similar to pile number one. This might be somebody who's attracted to all of them, right? Uh, someone told me they tell me it's upside down, which is interesting. So yeah, um, they don't like you because they feel like you. They're spooked by you because they feel like um you're lit where you want to be right and people still follow you people still trust you so people people still want to be you want to want to want to be you want to follow you want to listen to you people admire you but yet it's so much darkness because people don't know you so it's like how it's like it's like how is this person able to live this private life how is this person able to fail in, in private? Because the thing about living a private life and the best part about living a private life is you could be the type of person that's really popular, right? And your fucking man can be cheating on you. I mean, dogging you the fuck out, doing all types of shit. But because nobody knows who your man is or nobody know, like, you know what I'm saying? You could easily just leave him, go through the heartbreak, and nobody would even know because you, you don't show up like that in your life. So it's like... You probably, your life is probably not perfect. Nobody's life is not as perfect. But it's like nobody knows enough about you to prove that you're not as perfect as you are. So therefore, you seem perfect. You get what I'm saying? And therefore, you have a more peaceful life. So it's like, so people don't have a problem taking advice from you because they, like, your life looks good. You know what I'm saying? But it's it's not that it's perfect. It's that you're secretive. And you know that you don't have, you, because of your appearance, your personality, and the way you know how to deal with people, you know that you don't have to do much, so you don't. Whereas though other people are surviving off scandal you know what i'm saying like some people are literally like popular because they date everybody in the city or because they known for being a whore or are they known for being like you know somebody who spend money or you know a trick you know so like people are no known for like a lot of times negative stuff you know what i'm saying um not all the time but a lot of times right and sometimes positive stuff like even with that like some people like you know and i want to tell i want to um this, my story goes with the reader so i want to tell i tell you about my life to help y'all watch y'all so my landlord right this nigga own over 60 properties 60 properties right this nigga don't even get on facebook <laughs> like this nigga don't get on facebook he don't get on instagram like he might get on to like look but he don't post i haven't seen, he hasn't he hasn't made a post since 2013 you get what I'm saying? Like, he don't post. He don't do none of that. You get what I'm saying? Like, he don't, well, not 2016, like, like 2016, not 13. But, like, he don't post. He don't do none of that. He don't do none of this social media shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, he don't do none of that. But the nigga got money. You know what I'm saying? He owns 60 cribs. 60 cribs is a lot of cribs to own, right? But then it's another guy that I follow who does uh, social work, who does uh, real estate. His name is like Greg Barker or something like that. He own a lot of buildings in Philly too. But everybody know he own these buildings. Niggas riding Rolls Royces and shit through the city. Like this crazy stuff, right? And there's nothing wrong with that. But I'm saying both of them are lit. Both of them have money. Because I know both of them got big ass cribs. You get what I'm saying? So it's like both of them are very successful. Both of them have big cribs. Both of them have nice cars. Both of them can really do what they want to do. But at the same time, 
One of them has a private life, so he can fuck up in his life and nobody's looking at him. You get what I'm saying? He can make mistakes. You know what I'm saying? He don't, but he's still lit. So I say that to say this is that some people feel like they have to be known and put everybody in business to be lit, right? And then some people are fine with being quietly lit. And I feel like you're one of the people who are okay with being quietly lit, right? Um, the reason why um you got these whole spook because they feel like you don't be around. They feel like you be on your own time. And like people, a lot of people do have like some type of fear of people who feel like they don't need to be in a group. Because if you don't, because if you feel like you don't need to be in a group, like if you feel like you don't need to be in a group setting and you feel like you don't care what everybody say in a group, a lot of the times that feels like, that feels like, um, you can't be controlled, which you can't. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't need a group. You don't need everybody like you. Now, a lot of people want to be in control. They, like, you know, a lot of us have control issues. They want to control their partners. They want to control their friends. They want to control. When you can't control somebody, people are either going to admire you or they're going to hate you. You know what I'm saying? Because they're scared of you. So I feel like the reason why these hoes are spooked because they know they can't control you because you know, they know that you know that you don't need to be in a group and you don't need to be liked. You know what I'm saying? The next card I have out is the big, uh, the king of candles. But it asked me to keep this upside down. And what I'm saying with this is like, I feel like what makes you lit is the fact that you could be bigger. You, I mean, the fact that what got these holes spooked is the fact, and it makes you lit too. You could be bigger. You could be way bigger than you are. Like you could be a fucking star. You could be very popular. You could be dating up. You could be so fucking much, but you choose not to it's like you could be what they're trying to be but you just don't want to do it and it's like how bitch i'm trying my best to be you but you're you and we're doing nothing and you don't even want to be you so it's kind of like how can you be how can somebody else have my blessing and not want it you get what i'm saying so that that's what make god on spook because it's like who you think you are but yeah so let's get you some advice and then i'm gonna go on to my third reading so uh, um You had passion and you have gentleness. So continue to just keep what you love to do. Keep what you do for your finances. Keep what you who you sleeping with. Keep everything to yourself. Keep everything close to yourself. Keep everything close to heart. Keep everything close to yourself. You know what I'm saying? Everybody don't got to know what the fuck you got going on. Everybody, nobody, honestly, nobody needs to know what the fuck you got going on. And it's okay if nobody knows what the fuck you got going on. As long as you know what the fuck you got going on, that's all that matters. Nobody got to know what the fuck you got, what the fuck you got going on. So I say all that to say is just keep things that you care about very close to you. And that's way, that way everything will move forward. Then you have gentleness, right? So just be gentle with yourself. Like I know, I feel like in private, you probably go through a lot. So you're like, re you're listening to this reading. You're like, girl, I'm going through it like i feel sad all the time i'm depressed like i'm trying i'm making a lot of mistakes and like people think i'm perfect when i'm not listen be more gentle with yourself because you may not feel like you hurt to yourself you may not feel like you hurt to you know to, to basically to yourself right but listen let me tell you baby you is definitely her you are definitely her to these people who you got spooked these hoes is scared you done shook the table. You get what I'm saying? So you definitely her or you definitely him. You get what I'm saying? So just, just know that. Of course, you're going to think that you're not really doing that good because you know yourself. You know you could be better. But to people, you already done did a lot. You know what I'm saying? You already did a lot. But I said, but with that being said, that is your reading pile number two. I hope it resonates. If it does, please let me know. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hit the post notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a video. If you're interested in a personal reading, it's in the description box below. If you're interested in my feeding, you like, all you have to do is leave a red heart comment section below. And with that being said, I'm going to go ahead to my next pile. Okay. Why do you have these holes spooked pile number three so what i'm seeing here is hmm <sighs> y'all are dangerous so what's got you what's got what got whole feel like you spooky is the fact that you're dangerous the fact that you do dangerous stuff that like and this is them talking like the fact that you do dangerous stuff hang out with dangerous people go to dangerous places make dangerous investments like you just you are like a kid you gotta you kind of live in your you kind of live in your um you live in your um inner child 
most of the time. So what I mean by that is like when you're a child, you know that when you make decisions, like you're not thinking about, hey, like, um, why was I so drained towards power number two? You got a lot of people that hate power number two. But anyway, because now I'm like not as drained. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because I don't think, I don't think, because this, because I, I, what I asked was why you got these whole spook. There, this is more so a little bit different than pile number two and pile number three. Because I'm not saying, like, of course, Aaron, I got haters, but you're, you're, you don't really got, it's not that people hate you, it's that people are scared for you. You know what I'm saying? It's like people are scared because they feel like you be doing too much. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like people feel like you're, you do too much. So it's like, if you guys are doing like risk, taking like risky trips and stuff, like, they're, they're, they're happy. Like, they're, I mean, they don't feel like they're, some of them are happy about it. Some of them are indifferent about it. But, like, overall, everybody feels like you're you're doing too much and, like, the shit not going to work out or something's going to go wrong one day. So, yeah, like, the whole is like, damn, I wish I was doing that. But she's crazy for doing that. So, it's more so, like, not that they hate you. It's like they kind of hating on you for following your dreams. But it's not like, because I'm trying to figure out how to explain it. It's like, you know what I'm saying? It's like they think you dumb. You know what I'm saying? But then, at the same time, they're low-key jealous, even though they, they're trying to make it seem like they think you're dumb because it's things that they always wanted to do but they would just they just never had the balls to do right so it's like this could be like traveling on your own dating certain types of men wearing certain types of clothes like seeing certain shit that most motherfuckers most women would not say doing shit that most women would not do because they want to be liked or because they're scared that the outcome won't be favorable or there's you know that shit like that but it's like you don't seem to give a fuck about that so while they do admire it they do feel like it's inefficient and they don't understand it so they're kind of like spooked by it they're kind of like who like who is this crazy person doing all this crazy shit being this just just crazy person so more so people feel like you're um why you got how did why do you got the whole spook because they feel like you're um impractical they feel like you're imbalanced they feel like you make decisions that you know maybe not the most healthiest right and it's like the re the what's really got them going going off is because right here as you can see like a, a safer option is given to you but like he could easily drink out of here and be cool because that's probably what he should be drinking but he gonna drink out this fountain anyway because that's cooler you know what I'm saying? he gonna go in the fountain anyway even though he got juice right next to him that's probably healthier you gotta say that's probably better it's like you have everything handed to you right um and I tell you what, I like to help y'all with yours with this, right? So I have, I have a job. It's to most people, it's considered a great job. Well, it is a great job. I'm not gonna say consider. It's a great job. Um, it, it has a lot of growth in it, a lot of movement. It has, uh, just a lot of, you know, a lot of growth, a lot of movement, a lot of good, just good things in there, right? But the thing about it is, it's like for me that's not enough you know what i'm saying i know what i want and i know how i want to live so even even though i got to the point where technically i'm stable technically i could start building my career and be good and be great and have enough you know to live off of and be you know great but i rather i chose to do stuff like this i chose to make crazy investments i chose to do the hobby house i chose to do shit that's a risk right and i don't give a fuck because why you know life's too short right and i feel like you have that attitude and i feel you know because this as as a um a channel we all are connected so the people who watch my channel are probably in the same um part of the journey or about to go on the journey that i went on or like we kind of all think the same or on the site we're basically on the same vibration right so it's like you have you have you probably secured the degree you probably just secured a good job you probably secure you know uh uh like something like just easy like your life looks like it can be set but yet it's like you still do shit that's like risky you still do shit that's dangerous and they're not understanding why you get what i'm saying they're not understanding why you would do something like that. You get what I'm saying? They're like, why? They're like, why? Why would you do something like that when you don't need to do something like that? You could do. You could do anything you want to do. So why the fuck are you? Why would you choose to do something like that when you don't need to do anything like that? Your life is set, right? It, it makes them it's spooking them because it's like you're going you're trying it anyway and then you're winning <laughs> you know what i'm saying it's like you're trying something that you should easily be throwing at but then you're winning so your next card is the 12 of candles 
And then Well, what is this? The six of candles, and then you have I don't want I guess the two of candles. So why one more? So why you got these holes sick? Is they feel like they're watching you live the life that they want to live. They're watching you do the things that they want to do, and you're doing it with minimum effort. They're watching you work really hard, but it's starting to come together. So they feel like they're so they feel like they're watching you work really hard on a dream, work really hard on this risky shit. However, it's starting to come together. So they're like, damn, like I thought this person wouldn't be able to do it. I thought this person was gonna fail. I thought this person with it like i just thought they could because how you know like what they're doing don't even make sense but but it's working out for you and it's starting to come together so it's kind of spooky to see that it's like damn this motherfucker was really right then you have um the whatever presence card so why you got them why you got these whole spook is because they know that you're going to get all your manifestations they know that you're going to get all the blessings and everything that you wanted they know that for for a fact you're going to get every single thing that you wanted I mean, all of it. You're going to get the money, the cars, the clothes, the love. You're going to get every single thing that you wanted. And that's what's spooking them because it's like you really took a risk and you really did something different. Shh, victory, yo, y'all see me shuffle. And you really took a risk and you did the effort. And now it's like it's coming in for you. So you have the victory card. So what is your advice? Keep going, baby. That's all I got to tell you. Keep going. You're going strong and you're going to win. Victory is coming. The money is coming. The men, the man is coming. The woman is coming. The house is coming. The kids, is, whatever the fuck is you, you already, you already have gotten some of this stuff. But the life that you want is coming for you, okay? But with that being said, that is your reading pile number three. I hope it resonates. If it does, please let me know. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hit the post notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a video. If you are interested in getting a personal reading, that information in the description box below. If you're interested in my free reading anyway, all you have to do is leave a rare heart in the comment section below. And with that being said, I will see you guys in my next reading. Bye.